Hello, hello, and welcome back to the 3 Up Moon live stream, everybody. My name is Matt, otherwise known as 3 Up Moon, here on Twitch and on YouTube. And I stream every single day from 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. Pacific onward. And when you're tuning in on Wednesdays and Thursdays, I'm streaming from 10 a.m. Pacific. So lots of streaming going on over here. <clears throat> lots of retro stuff. Um, if you're a fan of classic video games, retro games, um, comics, animation, that's all the stuff I'm into. Today we're doing episode 41 of our ongoing series, The Retro Roulette, where I've got a list of over 800 games from Atari 2600 to N64 and PS1, and we're going to spin the wheel, and whatever game we land on, I have to play. Anyone can spin the wheel, I can spin the wheel, you can spin the wheel at any time for 420 Moonstones. And our initial spin today gets us a ROM hack of the Super Nintendo classic Zombies Ate My Neighbors. We're going to be playing, oh no, more Zombies Ate My Neighbors. <clears throat> There's tons of hacks for this game. And uh, it's a game made by LucasArts. So they had a whole division where they made video games. And this is just a really unique game by them. They also, I think Konami was involved as well. And they also did a spiritual successor called Ghoul Patrol. That one's a lot of fun. This one's a lot of fun. And I've been having fun messing around with the ROM hacks of this game. <clears throat> There's a couple of editors out there that make it really easy to make your own levels. And there is a friend of the channel, Narcolepsy, who is working on, and it's almost done. Um, it's, like it's about to be released pretty soon. Um, a ROM hack of Zombies Ate My Neighbors, and we did an exclusive Discord-only stream in my Discord where I tested out the first half of the levels. They were actually quite good. Compared to some of the ones that we've played, I really liked how this one started. I believe the tentative title for Narcolepsy's ROM hack is Zombies Ate My Crazy Neighbors, but don't quote me on that. But stick around, anyone can spin the wheel at any time. Um, we will be playing some, oh no, more Zombies Ain't My Neighbors on the Super Nintendo, up next. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks for tuning in. Feel free to check out some of the other episodes as well. This is episode 41, and there's all sorts of different themed wheels that we've done with this series. Stick around. It's Friday night.
I also want to take a moment to say thank you to the recent followers. Thank you to Jeff F. Acuna, Blue Player 8888, Oren Plus. Thank you so much. And Uomatsu Freak, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. in the butt by zombies <laughs> what's up any blank thank you so much for the resub at tier one i do not have my alerts on i should have my alerts on but i gotta rework some stuff <clears throat> and i'd rather just dive right into the stream with no alerts i uh, hope you're having a good monday and thanks for showing up and resubbing for th uh, 17 months wild no no 18 months sorry on a 17-month streak. I think 18 months, that's as long as we've been streaming, so I appreciate the support. <laughs> 18 months going on 36. What's up, Zombie Paper? Welcome in. Let's get some shout-outs. Go check out both their channels. <clears throat> They're pretty great. You should be able to see me, you should be able to hear me, you should be able to believe me, you should be able to flame me. Yep. It's alive!
Let's go. That's my favorite line in any rap. You should be able to flare me. You should be able to flare me. Oh no, more zombies ate my neighbors. Alright. Who gave me the broom? Revenge of the Dead. Alright. So, the cool thing about this game is, one, it's super fun. I think it's the only game where you're primarily just fighting zombies on the Super Nintendo. Think about that. Could be wrong, but... There's also a really easy drag and drop level editor that people have been using to make their own versions of this game, and I think it's really great. You can play this game in combination with Ghoul Patrol, which got re-released recently. I think on the Switch and Steam and a few other things. This game slaps. Totally. 100%. You used to think it was stupid, but then you you watched me play a hundred versions of it. You know what? I used to also, like, it didn't grab me right away when I was a kid, but then I started getting into it because <clears throat> my friend had it, so the idea of playing this multiplayer. I think I haven't played multiplayer in this in such a long time, but the idea of playing this multiplayer is really cool. It kind of reminds me of Fester's Quest a little bit, and there's a lot of really cool ROM hacks of it, but there's also, like, some some that have, like, questionable levels. That was dumb. I never liked that guy anyway. I have no idea what effect this is. Is it just invincibility? Good, we can still pick things up. But you can't interact with things. Alright. Yeah, there's there's tons of levels in this game too. Same with, I think, Ghoul, Ghoul Patrol. I think it's like, it might be 100 levels or something like that, or 75 levels. something? Is there not a button that... Do we just only have this as a weapon? That's wild. It's because we just have this as a weapon. That's our only weapon. I feel ya. I was not even looking at my health at all. Pepperonia lights out, indeed. Pepperonia lights out. Pepperonia lights out. It means... Get your pepperoni and go to sleep. Lights out. <laughs> I can't unhear that every time I I hear it in the oh, hey, hey. Pepperoni and long top. Now. I think that's kind of cool, actually, in a first level, is making me, like, really have to search for the weapons. Because I think the original game just gives you access to a lot of weapons at first. It's more like a sandbox approach. This is neat, though. I guess I should use the map. <laughs> the 
There's one more. Bit of a waste. To use the golden chest. But there's only one enemy on the screen, but I guess that that's gonna clear all the enemies on the screen. Should have saved that. Can we get a shout out for a mighty collector as well? Welcome in. Happy Monday. Disappears in between the two bookshelves. I love that. <clears throat> so the idea is you want to save every single neighbor. But we did not. We did not. I'll do it. Go check out Mighty Collector's channel. Oh, baby. That sucks. Let's use the radar. This is an interesting concept for a level. Just make an open Stardew Valley style forest. <laughs> the layout just reminds me of Stardew Valley. Oh, what? What? Good day. How the how did you get there? Bibo. This is cool, it's like a campground. I, I, I like this idea. I don't, I don't even think there's a level like this in the original game. Just with this type of layout. It's simple and repetitive, but it works. Oh. It'd be a lot tougher if I just turned the radar off. <laughs> Neighbor radar. The Safari Twins. Hey, you know what? Why don't you go mess your pants? Mess your pants. Oh, nice. See, this is cool too. Third stage, and they're taking us into the into the pyramid. This is badass. This is usually a much later game. I, I appreciate that. Oh, oh hello. Should have picked him up. You're not my mummy. Oh, another golden chest. Another golden chest. Oh. I kind of want their shoes. Sometimes the shoes, when you're going super fast, it's really difficult. Yes. Ooh. Finding these little doorways reminds me of uh, Link to the Past for some reason, because Link to the Past has, um, 
those moments in like the Hyrule Castle where you have to pull the curtains back. That's what it reminds me of. That was a weapon. Yep. Haha. <laughs> Speaking of Link to the Past, are you kidding me? It's like having the cane. That's funny. I like that though. It's handy for the mummies. That was not what I wanted to do. moving around the map to see if the neighbor will show up on the radar, but it's kind of unfortunate that we lost the life there. Oh, it's got to be here. In this direction, yeah. Very cool level. The layout was, was really interesting, and uh, yeah. For being level 3. This is up there with one of my uh, favorite of the hacks so far, of the Zombies and Minibars hacks. This and um, Narcolepsy's hack. <sighs> Just looking for a shroom with a view. Gotta be careful here. And we don't have the weapon we need to like clear the way. <clears throat> so we might have to just take damage. Oof, this is gonna be rough. Sam Raimi and Wes Craven and Ed Wood and Fulci <laughs> and O'Bannon. It's just like uh, at the end credits of the original Castlevania NES, 
they make a ton of references to the classic, classic ooh ha ha ha's of Universal Hollywood. Interesting starting point. <clears throat> it's different for each character. Of the first life, too. Got that all victim save bonus. Good old AVSB. <clears throat> There's ten of them. Jeez, what are you all doing out here? Camping or something? I love how the military trained officer is just sitting around, just like, oh, what's going on? Okay, that's good. Mummy and Daddy. Oh, 
that sucks. Let me know if it's too loud, too, if, if I'm buried in the mix. I don't want to be buried in the mix, I want to be a little, a little more ahead of the game, so just let me know if I need to adjust anything, volume-wise. <clears throat> Music almost sounds like it's out of uh, Chrono Trigger. Ooh, cool bucks. Okay, let's not get a game over. open up all these drawers. Because you never know, you can actually hide lots of things in the drawers with the level editor. I think you can, you can put weapons in there, like you just saw keys. Oh shit, don't die. No, oh my god, okay. We are like... Password, does it tell you? Or did it already tell us?
just back to the beginning. <clears throat> Shit. Gotta find a way to get to her. This is rough because we're really in one hit KO territory. Yes. Oh, good thing we turned that off in time. That would have been terrible. See, I was just talking about your hack earlier. We're playing, oh no, more Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I think we're on level four. This is a really interesting one. There's like a zombie camping trip um, level, which is pretty neat. I'm basically down to, if I take one hit, I'm dead. Is that going to make me blue? Yes. I'm down. Oh no, but I can't open doors. Shit. Okay. Well, that's not useful to me. Not useful at all. Because this is literally where we need to go. If we backtrack, it's just wasteful all the time. That was dumb. Okay, let's try this. We got bananas. Do mushrooms like bananas? around. was the bazooka baby the whole time. Come on. Weed cutting bonus. <laughs> well, thanks. I realize that's where the password is, is right before the level on the screen. Martian mall punks. Definitely some cool layouts to the levels here. I should have taken that password down because we now have to one hit KO this. Oh shit, there's no way, there's no way. The third level was a, an Egyptian pyramid level. And the fact that this is happening, <laughs> that they're tossing uh, Martians at us this early. Oh, 
Who shot first? Han or Greedo? Ah, it wasn't me though. It's gone. We did. Yeah, I'm doing good. Hope you're having a good Monday. Ah, we got to the top. We got to the top. We made it to the top spot. This is our third, that, that was our second game over basically. This is our third attempt from the beginning, but we didn't get too far in into the levels yet, so. But also keep in mind, anyone can spin the wheel anytime they like. Oh, you start with a random item each time. That's, that's interesting. That's what it seems like, at least. A random weapon. Pepperomia lights out, Pepperomia lights out. start off with a random potion because we did this last time and we got the potion that turned us blue made us invinci invincible and we could also walk on water <clears throat> but we did not get the beast potion Or we were trying to open. Oh shit. I see them. Okay. We were able to despawn those zombies. <laughs> there was two zombies that went down that hallway. To inevitably eat that neighbor, but somehow by walking off screen and then walking back down that hallway, we despawned both of them, so we saved her life. <laughs> saved that teacher's life. Not that we didn't save everyone else's life, but still. Yeah, I like, I like this level. There's something about this level that just works for me. Okay, ready? We're going to heal. the shoes. <laughs> I love the burgers on the ground. Dog in the chair here at the camp 
website. And one more. Do they, I think these keys actually carry over, right? From stage to stage. There you go. See a few more people are joining. Welcome in. Happy Monday. We are playing. Oh no! More zombies ate my neighbors on the Super Nintendo. Hope you're having a good one. Mess your pants in terror. Let's do it. Let's drink the random potion. What the heck did that do to us? Oh shit, weird. I'm completely possessed. I'm, I'm not controlling this at all. Oh, well that sucks. I guess you become a zombie temporarily with this potion. That's funny. <laughs> I love the Wilhelm scream in there. That was perfect. I'm one of them! What do I do? Ooh, nice escape. There should not be a baby wandering in a pyramid's hallways. Just saying. Keep an eye on your friggin' kids. This is the one that took a bunch of time to complete, but I think we got the vibe of what we got to do now. And it gives you a lot of ammo with that lawnmower, so we're good for that. Oh, what the, what the, what the, that was dumb. Yeah. 
Oh, don't weed whack the baby. <laughs> exactly. It's definitely that kind of... That's the perfect emote to represent how you should dance to this song. I mean, dance to this song however you want, but... It just works. Slapper of a tune, though. Just imagine how many times you've heard this in the last year. Yeah. <laughs> well, especially, yeah, when you're doing playtesting of your hack. <laughs> oh. My favorite part is the. Oh. 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 And the. There we go. <laughs> it could definitely drive you crazy, though. This is as far as we go. Oh, that was lovely. A lovely start. fight him with their own their own weaponry. What is the football, dude? They literally have a football and a, a banana in our inventory, which is funny. Or a bunch of bananas.
the variety in the themes of the level so far. Where the original game just repeats a lot of the themes, I think, early on. How do we get up there? How do we get up there? I have no idea why you're all the way over here, but like you, that makes sense. This is definitely the right weapon. I don't think throwing the football at the ant that size is going to do anything. Though it would be pretty funny to see in a horror movie with giant ants, or a sci-fi movie, where the quarterback or something, the local high school quarterback is just hucking footballs. And then you'd have to have a scene where the ant crushes the football in, in midair, like catches one, and then he just drops all the footballs. Also, I'm picturing him carrying like 50 footballs. <laughs> just in a Santa Claus-like sack. Just, just a sack of balls, you know? The worst enemy for a giant ant. Big ol' sack of balls. <laughs> Welcome in. If you're just joining, we're playing Oh No! More Zombies Ate My Neighbors, which is a ROM hack of Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Classic Konami and... Ooh, I did not save those people. Classic Konami and LucasArts game from back in the day. You can play this on the Switch and modern consoles as well. Not this hack, but the original one. And there is a spiritual successor called Ghoul Patrol that's really good. It's a lot of fun. Adds a few new things here and there. Nice, extra bonus victim, and we got a bonus for not firing the bazooka. I didn't think we needed to in this level, but... That's nice. Field of Screams. <laughs> it's Friday night. Uh, excuse me? Who the hell said we could do this? Who let the baby on the field? Oh, I definitely hear the uh-oh. Do you? Football worked. Football did damage. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Please tell me I have one more life left. Oh, killed by a baby on a football field. Oh. <laughs> did we save it? We did save the password, right? XJWK, okay. Hell yeah. 
Can we password it? Yeah, exactly. We'll try this one more time, unless someone wants to spin the wheel. But we'll try this one more time, and then I'll spin the wheel. We'll go to the next game. Oh no, we have to do this over again? I didn't write down the right password. I wrote down the previous password. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's spin the wheel and just see what we get. It's gonna land on game number 60. All right, let's see what that is gonna be. It is... Come on. It's a Castlevania ROM hack. A ROM hack of the NES Castlevania, I think. The first one. Castlevania Hell's Fury. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Stick around. <laughs> Sorry about the abrupt music change there. Hopefully that mixed fine. Ah, interesting, okay. Castlevania Hell's Fury. There are two different versions of it, and the one that we randomized is the easy mode. It says on the title screen. So there's the easy mode, and then there is the hard mode. I'm glad we got the easier version. I can't imagine it's going to be easy, I just imagine it will be, like, easier. All right. 
Alright, this is a game by Sonicu the Hedgehog. <laughs> Interesting username. Um, and when did it come out? Ah, released in 2008. It's a hell hack for the original Castlevania. The goal is to make the game as hard as possible while attempting to be fair in gameplay. An easy version is included. Okay, cool. So this is the easy version. Got it. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what it's all about.
Okay, folks, we're going to dive into the next game in just a second. Castlevania Hell's Fury or Castlevania Hellhack. Hmm, that was good. We picked up these pumpkin scones from the local grocery store. Put a little cream cheese in there. Some fresh pistachios. Mwah. I'm just making myself a quick cup of tea, and then we're going to dive into Castlevania. Thank you for your patience. Okay, folks, I'm back. It's Friday night. Ah, 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 ah. I 
I don't know what you're talking about, officer. <laughs> Let me know if it is too loud. Death awaits. It's got a cool little edit, having the text in there. Um, yeah, here we go. I think that's probably okay volume-wise. I could probably even bring up the volume. But you let me know. D. I. E. <laughs> wow. This is the easy mode. They're gonna hit us with double bats. What? I mean, I'm pretty well versed with Castlevania, but that's pretty, that's pretty rough to start off a level like that. Ooh. Oh, thank you for the wall meat. I need it. All the help we can get. It's certainly a, a different hack, for sure, that I've seen. This originally came out in 2008. So 20 years after the original game. What a year for games, huh? You had Super Mario Bros. 2, you had Super Mario Bros. 3, and you had Castlevania 1. What else came out in 88, video game-wise? Everyone hates Medusas, but I honestly think the bats and the birds are the worst enemies in Castlevania. <laughs> nope, I did not want that. I really liked what I had. <laughs> Nice trick, stay on the stairs if you don't want to get knocked off by an enemy. <clears throat> the knockback is some of the worst stuff you gotta deal with in Castlevania games. Oh, that's nice. We didn't actually fall down the pit there, wow. Should be able to use our item, <clears throat> our stopwatch, because we have five hearts. I'm very confused as to why that's not a thing. Yes, yes. <coughs> oh, it just costs ten hearts. And... 
Interesting. <clears throat> In the original game, it cost five hearts, and we were recently playing Circle of the Moon, where it cost 20 hearts. But you get 10 seconds of invincibility. In this, you get three. Not invincibility, sorry, of the time freeze. I guess I could try the Konami code whenever we play Castlevania, but I've just never, never attempted it really in our playthroughs. Oh, looks like things damage you worse in this hack too. Yeah, they're they're definitely doing more damage to us for sure. Welcome in, JD. Oh, oh. oh there's a way to do this, <clears throat> and this is the easy mode of this hack. tactic is going to be this from now on. Nope, nope. Oh no! This is rough. Imagine that thing fell. Imagine it fell through the platform. That'd be hilarious. Whew. That was rough. <clears throat> no, not yet. Not yet. It's gonna give me a bat and a Medusa to start off. Okay, we have 30 hearts. <laughs> Our chance. You want to try some more hacks of games you like. So far, you've only tried the Contra one called Revenge of the Red Falcon. I have played that one actually. We ended up playing it in our animal and creature themed <laughs> retro roulette just because of the title with Falcon in it. Um, but there's like a handful of Contra hacks that are just wild. I'm not great at Contra though, but Mighty Collector, who's hanging out, actually is really, really good at the Contra games. 
the classic ones, in my opinion. But yeah, I highly recommend checking out hacks of, of games you grew up with or trying randomizers of games that you grew up with. I think there might be a Contra randomizer, which would be kind of neat to try. Oh, have you played that that one too? I, I didn't even get past the first level when I played it. I was not, uh, we did not play it long. <laughs> Shoot. So close. We can totally land there, right? We have to do it this way? Okay. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Okay, we're all right like this. If we're on the the stairs, we won't get knocked off. The jumps are super tight. Oh wow! So you don't even need to clear that one. Oh wow, that's so crazy. lured up those stairs for no reason. Whew. This might have changed the uh, 1-up points reward too as well. Oh, normally you get a 1-up every 20,000 points. Yeah, I think you're right. We just got it at 30. I think it's 20,000 points. Yeah, there's definitely some, definitely some tight jumps in this. This is wild. Is this a sweet spot? Is this the Medusa sweet spot? Okay, ready? Yes, that's right, folks. Between two Medusas. Shouldn't have done it, shouldn't have done it. Oh, the save. The save state save. Yes. 
<laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Can we find a sweet spot here? Not so easy. So, I've mentioned it before many times, but obviously we're in Moon Doom mode right now, which is clearly a situation where one hit can take us out. And for some reason, no matter what game we play, I always end up, my gamer brain, like, gravitates us towards this state. And I'm not trying to do one hit KO challenges, but I find that I always put myself in a situation where I can only take one hit, and then, then I start paying attention. Now I'm playing with power. <laughs> It's really stupid. Wow. Oh! Okay, we cannot go back down. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> Triple header. Yes, 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 yes! That sucks. <sighs> Jumping too early. That meat was more effective than in the original code. That's a nice plus. Yeah, it completely filled it. I noticed that too. Because we've been playing a lot of these hacks recently, and... I recently replayed the original, just with a, a, a palette change, essentially. But basically, I think it only heals like a, a quarter or a third of your health, normally, with the wall meat, right? Something like that.
Ooh, nice. My partner just surprised me with a cocktail. It's, it's half your health in the original? Nice. I feel like it's felt like less <laughs> before, but maybe because I was just in a stressful situation and needed the health. I needed the health! Whoa! That's great. It's going to respawn the health on that thing, isn't it? This is an interesting way to kind of fuck with the player, is to put this platform where a non-moving platform is. Fuck off. Are you kidding me? Just eat it. Can't make any mistakes. stressful. Holy shit. We know what's here, though. We don't really need it, but maybe we will soon. Oh, no. It's not me. The originalized meat. Oh, man. Don't give me this. Don't give me an enemy right there. supposed to do? No. we don't hit the spikes. Come on. That's bullshit. 
Do you see? Do you see what's happening here? Like, I shouldn't be moving backwards with my fucking jump. That doesn't make sense. See what I'm saying? There's some bogus shit going on there. That's for sure. It's funny to see a situation here in the original Castlevania where clearly, like, we just want to jump over here onto this platform, but we can't do it. Um, but in, you know, Circle of the Moon, we can unlock the, all these, like, wall jumps and high jumps and stuff. It's funny to see where it's all gone. All right. Apparently that's an insta-kill. Get out of here. Yeah, my face. <laughs> oh yeah, the whole thing is easy mode. I don't even want to know what the hell hell mode is like. I mean, we're finding our way through it though. Like, there's just like a few obstacles. <laughs> just a few. saved. Same exact thing happened. <laughs> we have 15 lives apparently, though. So at least it, at least it's nice to us there. my venues. We did play a Castlevania 1 hack a couple of streams ago that was uh, 
requiring us to do damage boosts, which I thought was really interesting, but it was annoying as well, because we had to conserve health and actually use the fact that uh, when we take damage that it launches us forward to actually to, to continue through the progression of the level. It's pretty wild. No. See, this, I think this is jank. Because how do you, you know what I mean? Like, there is definitely 100% a way for me to, to jump from there to there. It should be letting me. You know what I mean? Like, nothing should be pushing me back. These fireballs don't push you back. Jumping too early, because you can walk off of a ledge a little bit. Oh, that's what it is. It's the Medusa. It's because we can't jump at that time. We gotta wait. It's all about timing the things up together. Oh, we got ourselves the one up there. Is that what that noise was? You've seen stuff like this in Super Mario World Kaizo hacks. Oh yeah, the, the damage boosting where you get a mushroom just to immediately lose it and then use the iframes. Yeah, totally. I've definitely gotten through some ROM hacks. Even in the, the end of the last stream we played Twisted Lost Levels, which was a one world ROM hack of Super Mario Bros. 3. And there was at least a couple of instances in the last stream where I was relying on my iframes. Yes! It was the Medusa. survived somehow. Wait. One, two... It's, it's the next one. One, two, Ah. 
why can't I do it? Like, why does it, uh... Why did I do it the first couple times? Oh, that was it, that was it. Okay, cool. I see what you're saying. This is so annoying. I'll just keep telling myself, this is easy mode, this is easy mode, this is easy mode. <laughs> So close. Oh, high frames. Save me. Holy shit. say about that one. The kind of thing that leads somebody to drink. <laughs> I just happen to have a cocktail. Cheers. Folks, everybody's got a line. Castlevania Hell's Fury from 2008 just crossed it. We are spinning the wheel. And we're going to get something totally different. And now for something completely different. Okay, 175 is the game that we're getting. Which means we're going to be playing... Oh, oh, too far. Come on, load for me. We're going to be playing Musia, the classic Japanese tale of horror on the Super Nintendo. Up next. I've never heard of this. Let's dive in.
Here we go. This is it. Musia. The classic Japanese tale of horror. <laughs> Long ago, a pike man named Emoto survived a great battle. He alone escaped defeat by fleeing to a mountain village. It's a village. It's the great best first line. Emoto started for the village, but collapsed after a few steps. Awaken, soldier. I'm Akagi, mayor of this hamlet. I read that as helmet. This is Tangumura, where the gatekeepers of the abyss. Shizuka holds the talisman that seals the abyss. She was taken today by a guard of the evil one that is locked in the abyss. Please help her. I know why I alone survived Akagi-san. My destiny lies within the abyss. Tangumura Cavern. Go. Oh, is it like a Castlevania like? I like this. Nice. It kind of feels a little bit like um, Castlevania Bloodlines a little bit. If you choose the character with the spear. Oh. <laughs> My instinct is to destroy the candles, but nope. Not in this game. And there's Metroids. Was there a 100% Metroid titties? <laughs> Metroid boobas. Weird. Oh cool, you can, with the A button, you can spin the spear, kind of like, in Circle of the Moon. Wow. And we can jump like crazy. Oh no! Okay, this is pretty cool. It doesn't feel janky or anything. I just gotta get used to the controls. Wumpa fruit, and then you get health. I like that. Also, our health is uh, depicted in fireballs. It's actually more effective to just use this instead of stabbing the 
can do a downward stab though, which is nice. Yeah, 100% more effective to do this. Doesn't even matter the enemy. gotta use this attack. This is a Castlevania like for sure. Get out of here! I had a instantaneous instinct to just run around that eye and then collect the star that appeared afterwards, but that might be just too much uh, Super Mario 64 gameplay in me. I spent too many hours playing that game. Oop, 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 oop. Ew, they're puking eyeballs out. That's not. Not what I call fun. And we did. <clears throat> okay, at least it remembers that we made progress. Fountain of Dreams from Super Smash Brothers. This is a cool area. I like the design here for sure. surprise for you. That was fast. Holy shit. It's a bear. It's a tanuki. It's a tanuki. 100%. We are literally fighting a tanuki, which is what tanuki Mario is based off of. 
<clears throat> I love how fast the story just progresses. It's like, holy shit. We don't have any health anyways, I mean. Right? And we, we, we take damage from the spikes above it. supposed to do that <laughs> okay eat this eat that oh how many do we have Just spamming. Doesn't, you know what I mean? Like, we can do some damage, but what does it do? Really? Oh my god, wait. We gotta use the iframes. You gotta use his iframes. Holy shit. Go, 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 go. frames do we get? We get like we get like just a few frames, so it's not really helpful. <sighs> I'm just being hopeful. This is a pretty wild boss. I'm like just calm down. Raging Tanuki. Emoto-san is no more. Not if we continue. Oh, yes! Dude. Get out of here. That sucks. <laughs> I did not save. I did not save. Mm -hmm. Definitely continue. At least it continues you here.
Oh yeah, we're losing health big time. I mean, oh damn it, I didn't even, again I didn't save at the right spot. What am I? What am I? This is a really cool game, though. I, I have to say, this is this is the first time I played it. This is a, like definitely the find of the night. wish there was a, a double tap dash like a run button because there isn't and it sucks like is there a way for me to just do damage and not take damage because that'd be nice I mean, get out of here. Get out of here. Wow, okay. So it's just because he can stop that attack. <clears throat> sure about how we jump because there's moments when we can do jumps just only that high and then we can like do this almost like Wario Land style magnet jump like when Wario Land in, in Wario Land 1 when Wario gets the uh, not sure what the actual power up looks like but I think it's a, just a garlic he wears like a, a viking helmet like a horn helmet and when you jump and the horn helmet touches the ceiling of a room he actually just stays up like that which is very handy. But how do we like control that? Learn to control your powers. Oh. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we have to master. Or just get the hell out of here. No, we can't. We have one health. You see this? We gravitated towards one health mode. Because that's what I do. That was dumb, because we could have just moved back. Get out of here. Thank you. 
Let's go. I got all the safe states in the world. But there ain't enough room in this safe valve for the both of us. Told you I always do better for some reason when I have just the one, <laughs> the one hit KO situation, one HP gang is what. <laughs> it's the best way to describe it. Oh, what? Only now you're turning red. Holy shit! This better be done soon. Save states later. Monster defeated. The catacombs. It's your chance to redeem me, Musia. It's still a really fun game, actually. Yeah, this is cool. Really cool. Whoa. Having some trouble there. Bye bye. Hello there, Thwomp. You can just walk normally here, but it just it's just funnier if you do that. I was joking about doing a Super Castlevania 4 run and trying to see if you could beat it completely while ducking the entire time, because you can do jumps while you duck, you can ledge grab while you duck, you can attack while you duck. So look, imagine you just always, either if you could mod it, if anybody knows how to mod uh, stuff so that like one button is always being pressed. That would be pretty cool. Because I would definitely attempt that challenge. Super Castlevania floor. Playing the game as close to the floor as possible. Mm. 
Really? I need that. Yes, that's what I thought. interesting too because it is making us explore a little bit. Platforming. Platforming. Oh, what? Oh, what? You're going to do that to me? It's just like in Castlevania. <laughs> Just like what we we're dealing with. Oh, hold on. I, I saw that shit. Hold on a second. There's an item there. <clears throat> Daikibiso. Got a full heal. It's nice. Fine. This music is too lighthearted for what's going on right now. What the hell? Ew. It literally turns inside out and shoots stuff at us. It's disgusting. Oh no. It's like the angry sun. Because <clears throat> it follows us. That's not good. Stay the hell away. Oh, two of them. That's right. When these things die, they shoot in all sorts of directions. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. No! <laughs> that sucks. That sucks. Ignore the enemies. Second boss fight, you hear a rumbling.
Oh no! How'd I fall out of, out of rhythm with it? soul palace of hate I saw you coming I love the enemy designs in this this is cool never heard of this game before today That's the best route to take. Oh, watch out for fire genies. Yes. Heal me? Nope. But something happened. We deal damage if someone runs into us, so this is a good opportunity to just keep traveling. Where are we trying to go, though? Up?
Yeah, you're supposed to fall. Interesting. This is cool. This game's awesome. I see you. Out of here. Oh no. No, oh, no. supposed to do. Not what you're supposed to do. Yeah, we're taking so much damage. We heard the Seinfeld riff there for a second. Tick, tick, boom. Wait. 
Wait, no, I don't want it to... Damn, we didn't pick up the item, we got teleported back. Interesting. game though. This life, this is our last life. You can see in the top right corner the blade, or like I guess it's like the spearhead to represent our lives. I just, I just want to get across. No. How do you go down the hole? These are holes, right? I have no idea. We're taking damage as as we're dealing damage here. You just have to walk into the statue, and then it teleports you. Oh, you know what? I think we're going to have to teleport everyone over to someone else's stream, and Chibishibe is actually doing a birthday charity stream right now, playing Ocarina of Time for the first time, and they are a regular in the channel. It is their birthday. Let's go hang out there and say happy birthday. Um, thanks to everyone who hung out. I really appreciate it. Join the Discord if you're not a member, because I'll be hanging out there and maybe streaming some cartoons tonight. And tomorrow I will see you at the usual time at around 5 p.m. Pacific. And on Wednesday and Thursday we'll be streaming earlier in the morning. I think this Wednesday is probably going to be closer to 11 or noon this Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. Thank you again to Henny Blank for the resub for 17 months in a row. And thank you to Jaffa Fakuna for the follow. Blue player 8888. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. I will see you in episode 42. Don't put too much deep thought into that one. Um, in the next spooky horror and Halloween themed retro roulette stream. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks for tuning in. And you know what? There's a whole bunch of other episodes. This is episode 41. There's a whole bunch of other themes of the retro roulette and a whole bunch of just different streams if you want to see me check out, or if you want to check out um, or see me. Uh, beat Super Mario Brothers 3 ROM hacks, Super Mario World ROM hacks, uh, play randomizer runs of Link to the Past, Pokemon Stadium 2, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, and Castlevania 3. Then there's all sorts of cool stuff that you can check out. Um, most of October we're going to be doing this, but we will be starting a playthrough of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga on Game Boy Advance as well, keeping our Mario RPG series going. 
and I will see you in Shibashibe's channel. Take care, everyone.